A car's wheel has a rotational inertia of 2 kg meter square. The wheel initially has a counterclockwise angular speed of 6 radians per second but has a constant clockwise torque of 15 newton meters applied for 4 seconds. We need to figure out the final angular momentum of the wheel and we can answer using a coordinate system where counterclockwise counterclockwise is positive. All right, and this is these are the units we need to express the answer in. So pause the video, note down everything that you know, all the quantities that you know in this and what you are being asked. Try to recall the equations through which you can figure out the final angular momentum. So give this one a try first on your own. Okay, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now for such questions, let's try to list down all the quantities that we know. So we know we know the quantity of probably the quantity of rotational inertia i value is this we know initial angular velocity we know the torque and there is a negative sign here because the torque is in a clockwise direction clockwise is being asked to consider negative counterclockwise is being considered positive we don't know the final angular velocity we do know the initial angular velocity we do know the time for which the torque was applied four seconds and we are being asked the final angular momentum. So these are all the quantities that we know or don't know. Now let's try to recall the two main equations that could be useful here. When it comes to angular momentum and expressing that in terms of torque and the time for which the torque is applied. Also, there is one more way of figuring out angular momentum if we know angular velocity and rotation inertia. So these two equations will really come handy. These two will be useful here. We can write del delta L, delta L as the final angular momentum minus the initial angular momentum that is equal to torque into delta T. Now let's try to see what all do we know. We know, we know the initial, initial angular momentum. We know the torque, we know delta T. Something that we do need to figure out is the final angular momentum. So just with this equation, we can actually figure out a lot. And how do we know the initial angular momentum? Well, we can go back to this equation. We can use this equation. So let's do that. So initial angular momentum here, this would be Li. This is equal to uh, 2, that is the rotational, rotational inertia, 2 kilogram meter square into 12 radians per second. So this really is 24, 24 kilogram meter square per second. Okay, we can substitute that right away with Li and need to, you need to figure out Lf, right? So Lf, this is equal to Li, this is the wrong color, so Lf, this is equal to Li, uh, which is 24, goes to the right, becomes positive, minus, we do using a minus here because stock is minus, minus 15 into 4. So this is 60, 24 minus 24 minus 60. Well, this won't be 24 really, this is 2 into 6, right? not 2 into 12. There's been a mistake here. This right here is 6. This right here is 6. So this becomes 12, not 24. This is 12. And therefore this will be 12. This will be 12. Let's rub this and let's write 12 over here. This is 12 minus 15 into 4, 12 minus 60. So at the end it comes out to be minus 48 kilogram meter square per second. 